With that being said, I want to introduce to you the moderator for this event, Macora Lewis. Macora is a sophomore at Howard University. Can we hear a sophomore at Howard University from Macora? There we go. There we go. And, and not only is Macora at Howard University, but Macora also, when she spent time here full time in Providence, was hugely influential in the Providence Student Union. So if you don't know the Providence Student Union, I recommend you checking them out as well. Thank you. So with that being said, Makora, take it away. Thank you. Hi everyone. Um, whew, okay. Wow. Okay, I'm trying not to get emotional here. Um, so quickly introducing myself, my name is Makora Lewis. I am a sociology major at the illustrious Howard University. You. you know, you. You know. Um, I have uh, done plenty of work here in Providence. Um, when I was a high school student at the Met High School, I. <laughs> I led um, the first Denim Day walk out here. Um, that was definitely phenomenal. And yeah, so I'm a do my little spiel. So first I want to acknowledge everyone that came out here. I just want to say thank you. You guys could have been anywhere else, but you decided to be here today at the State House when it's raining. I appreciate you guys all. When this news of Sonia Macy came to me, during social media, I was like, how can, I wanna do something. I'm tired, Breonna Taylor, Sandra Bland, this can't keep on happening. Us black women are keep on getting disrespected in the news and I'm tired of it. Shame. We are all tired, shame. shame, thank you. And I wanted to do something and I knew exactly where to go. My people at BLMRI Pack, come on BLMRI Pack. <laughs> I want to thank y'all because this honestly couldn't have been possible without y'all. I want to thank my mom. She's in the back right there supporting me. So, yeah, so as you all know, we lost an innocent soldier in the battle of police brutality and racial injustice. Her name was Sonia Macy. On July 6, her life was taken in her own home from the hands of people that were supposed to protect and serve. Hmm. Sonia Macy is not just a narcissistic. She was a mother, daughter, friend, and most of all, she was innocent. Like I said, when I heard the news of Sonia Macy, first few emotions, anyways, first few emotions I felt was sad, anger, and hopeless for our future towards transformative justice. But instead of just reposting on my social media, I wanted to do more. I wanted to bring people together in a time of hopelessness. I wanted to organize. I contacted my activist family, Riley, Harrison, Eugene, Isis, Diane, everyone over here. Thank you, the youth. I really want to thank the youth for this because that in my support, this event have gained in the spam of less than a week. The people that care and want to do something and the people that gave me and the rest of Providence the best continue to advocate for our brothers and sisters, hope. So I don't want to speak too much. So today we have several speakers, students and people from this community that want to share their stories and words of solidarity and support for Sonia Massey's family.